Alrighty y'all, this is World Class Jerk, and today we're going to be doing the Field Shelter versus the Real Shelter. Well, it's not called the Real Shelter, it's just called the Shelter, but the Real Shelter sounded cooler, so that's what I went with. And also, today I'm going to be using a Venn diagram to compare these two, because that's neat, so definitely brag on me in the comments section for that one. And let me know what you think about this style of video. But also, a quick point here, mo unlike most of my Versus videos, and this one... Unlike all of my versus videos, actually, not just most, but unlike all my other versus videos, we're not actually going to try to figure out which one's better in this video, but we're going to try to just point out the differences between the two so that you can make your own choice which one you want to use in any particular situation. And so, without further ado, we're going to get straight into this now. Yeah, but before we do, you should join my Discord, link in the description. To become a jerk today, you should hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tap that notification bell, leave comments and suggestions, and without further ado, we're actually going to get into it this time. So my children, a Venn diagram just as promised because I am indeed an honest man, and we are going to start off here by putting the shelter on the left, and the field shelter on the right, and obviously the middle is where they have things in common. And if you didn't already know that, you should leave because this channel is only for smart people. If you don't know that, you are dumb! Anyways, that being said, we're going to get started off with the things that both of these have in common. The first of which is that they are always aligned with the center of the planet. As you can see on screen now, I have a shelter. And when I unpackage it, despite it being on a slope, it is going to m put its terrain down, level with the curvature of the Earth, and it also itself, obviously, is going to be aligned with the curvature of the Earth. And also, as you can see on screen now, we have a field shelter. And it does not have any terrain that goes underneath it once you unpackage it, but still, the field shelter itself no matter how aggressive the slope it is on, is going to be level with the curvature of the planet. Anyways, the next thing that these both have in common is that they have built-in oxygenators, and the difference between something that has an oxygenator and something that simply provides oxygen is that something with an oxygenator will produce oxygen throughout your tethers instead of just directly to you, so this means you can use tethers with your shelters, but not with something, say, like a vehicle. Vehicles will give you oxygen, but they will not give you oxygen through tethers unless you put an oxygenator on the vehicle. But for the last thing they have in common that we will be discussing, they both provide you a save point, which means you will both be safe from the environment around you, and it will save your game in case you crash. So that's definitely important because you do not want to lose your progress because you crashed, and even though the game saves when you leave your save, you still want to have some backup just in case you crash. And also, like I said, you can just get in there to be safe from the environment for whatever reason. Not as useful now that there's not storms in the game anymore, but still may be useful for some reason. I'm just going to put that out there, and that's that. So now that we've reviewed everything that these two have in common, it is now time to move on to the shelter to mention things that are specific to the shelter so that we can now get an understanding of how they are different. And the first thing about the shelter that is different from the field shelter is that it is completely stationary. You cannot move it no matter what you do because that's just not how it works. But moving on, this thing also has two single storage spots and it has four connection plugs. Not a whole lot left to say about those two points there, so we're going to move on to the fact that it produces hard terrain in the vicinity. So all the way around your shelter, you will see a sort of black spot that it produces after you open it up. And this is this is just basically hard soil. Without a drill mod, you can't even mine this stuff and explore explosions, there's, that's what's required to blow it up, or if you actually have a high enough drill mod, or a truck drill mod, then you can actually also get through this terrain, but with a normal drill, you're not getting through the terrain around it, and that might just be a good thing for you, I don't know, but that's just another thing it does. Moving on, though, it produces one unit of power all the time, so, like, there's, like, an RTG model on the inside of it, so, basically, that's just, like, a really sucky RTG, I guess, because it only produces one unit instead of four, but that's what it does, it produces one unit of power all the time, so that's something else you will get from the shelter. Another thing is that you will have to craft it with two silicone and two plastic, that is indeed the recipe for this thing, and so, it, yeah, that's the recipe, yeah, there's nothing left to say, I don't know why I'm still talking about that, anyways, and as far as how many bytes it takes to unlock this thing, it doesn't. It is already unlocked. When you start up on your save, you have to put zero bytes into this thing in order to be able to craft it, and that's a pretty big edge for this thing, for sure. Uh, I think it actually used to cost bytes, but it doesn't anymore, but nobody cares about that, so I'm gonna shut up now. But my friends, this is gonna have to bring us to the field shelter, and so we're going to discuss everything about this that is different from the shelter, just like we just now did with the shelter, and we're gonna get started off here saying that it is mobile, which means, obviously, you can move it around, whereas the shelter is completely stationary, the field shelter can be moved around very easily, just like any other object in the game, which is very, very convenient. Our next point is that it has one single storage spot, which is exactly half of the shelter. It has two connection plugs, which is exactly half of the shelter. And it puts out 0.5 units of power, which is exactly half the shelter. 
And that's that's kind of you know it, it's kind of a reoccurring theme here. It's basically like because it's mobile, it does sacrifice its storage, its connection, and its power output. But honestly, if you're relying on these things for their power output, you're kind of doing it wrong anyways because they don't have that much either of them. But moving on here, we will have that the crafting recipe is one silicone, which is oh half of the amount of silicone that you need to craft a normal shelter. But there's a little twist for the other half of the crafting recipe, and that is going to be that you need a graphene instead of a plastic. So that definitely makes this more expensive than the shelter. So even though it's smaller, you would sort of expect it to uh, to cost less. You would expect the shelter to be sort of the upgraded field shelter. But actually, much to, like, su much to my surprise at least, it's actually the opposite way around. The field shelter is more expensive than the shelter and crafting, and as our next point here is going to point out, it costs more in bytes as well, because the shelter costs zero bytes, but the field shelter costs 8,000 bytes, and so you can now see very plainly that the field shelter is supposed to be a later game object than the shelter, which is somewhat of a surprise again, at least to me, because it seems like the field shelter would be like the lower tier object, and the shelter would be the thing you upgrade to, but that's not the case at all. I guess the fact that it's mobile supposed to be considered a big enough advantage that it is indeed a later game object, so do keep that in mind. But my friends, this is what we have to show for our video today, and so I'm basically going to just scoot on into my outro now, and if you don't want to see my outro, then you can suck my foot today, but make sure that you hit the like button on the way out. But yes, guys, it is outro time, just as promised, because I am indeed an honest man. But at any rate, let me know what you think about this video down in the comments below, and leave suggestions, even if they aren't remotely Astroneer related, because I am indeed looking to expand the channel and that's something I will definitely be doing once I get a better PC. But until then, drop your suggestions, and they will be considered over time until that point. But that's going to be it for this one, and so stay tuned for the next one. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, tap that notification bell, leave comments and suggestions, and join my Discord. Link in the description to become a jerk today. Believe me, my friends, this is the most official way to be known as a jerk abroad, and who wouldn't want that for themselves? I know I would. And so without further ado... Have a nice day.